More than 150,000 moths and butterflies flutter around several parts of the world. But what's the difference between a moth versus butterfly? These insects have many similarities as they share the same order and possess similar features. But they have a number of differences that can help you distinguish them from each other. Most species have differences in appearance behavior, and life cycle changes. One of the most identifiable differences between moths and butterflies is their wings and body shape. In this article, we're going to explore some key differences between moths and butterflies. If you've ever seen moths and butterflies, you might know that they have significant color differences. Moths typically have dull colored wings. Butterflies usually have intricate wing patterns with vibrant colors. This difference in wing color applies to most moth and butterfly species. However, some moth species have vibrant colors, such as the Luna moth. The Luna moth boasts bright green wings with a dark edge and light yellow near the head. Butterfly wings are larger than most moth species. However, there are a number of moth species that have a large wingspan. For example, the Atlas moth is the largest known moth species in the world. It has a wingspan of more than 10 inches 25 centimeter. Moths and butterflies go through similar life processes. However, they have a number of behavioral differences. Most butterflies are diurnal. This means they're most active during the day. Moths are nocturnal, meaning they're most active at night. This makes it easier to determine between a moth and a butterfly, depending on the time of day. To make things a little more complicated, some moths are diurnal. Some butterflies are active at dawn and dusk. Moths and butterflies have different resting postures. Moths can be found relaxing with their wings spread flat. Butterflies rest with their wings closed above the body. Some moth species hold their wings up such as geometrid moths. Some butterfly species rest with their wings flat like moths, such as the subfamily Pergeny. The pupa is the stage of the butterfly and moth life cycle, where these creatures transition into adults. Although the life cycle stages of moths and butterflies are similar, they have different formations in this stage. Many moth species form a cocoon to reorganize into an adult. Cocoons are soft and made of silk produced by the caterpillar, or larva, of a moth. Butterflies don't create cocoons. They form a chrysalis. A chrysalis has a similar shape to a cocoon, but it's hard and smooth. Some moth and butterfly larvae don't make cocoons or chrysalids. Instead, they burrow into the ground or hide under leaf litter to pupate. One of the easiest ways to distinguish a moth and a butterfly up close is their antennae. Butterfly antennae are long, and most have round bulbs at the end of each antenna. Moth antennae usually have side branches that have a feathery or saw-edged appearance. They don't have bulbs on the end of their antennae. Butterfly antennae don't have a feathery appearance. One of the easiest ways to distinguish a moth and a butterfly up close is their antennae. Butterfly antennae are long, and most have round bulbs at the end of each antenna. Moth antennae usually have side branches that have a feathery or saw-edged appearance. They don't have bulbs on the end of their antennae. Butterfly antennae don't have a feathery appearance. Moths and butterflies have many similarities. They both go through a metamorphic life cycle. Most moths and butterflies have the same diet. They drink nectar from flowering plants. We typically don't see moths eating nectar from flowers because they do so at night. Due to their diet, moths and butterflies are both pollinators. Although they share the same diet, some moths don't eat at all. Many moth species, such as the atlas and luna moths, don't have mouths. This causes them to have a very short lifespan compared to other species. Moths and butterflies both have scales that cover their wings and body. Some moth and butterfly species, 
also share migratory behaviors. These migratory moths and butterflies can travel long distances. Moths and butterflies are thought to have co-evolved with each other. Their evolution is based upon the evolution of flowering plants. Butterflies and moths share some of the same predators. Birds, lizards, and amphibians are some of the top predators for moths and butterflies. Moths and butterflies have many similarities. They both go through a metamorphic life cycle. Most moths and butterflies have the same diet. They drink nectar from flowering plants. We typically don't see moths eating nectar from flowers because they do so at night. Due to their diet, moths and butterflies are both pollinators. Although they share the same diet, some moths don't eat at all. Many moth species, such as the atlas and luna moths, don't have mouths. This causes them to have a very short lifespan compared to other species. Moths and butterflies both have scales that cover their wings and body. Some moth and butterfly species also share migratory behaviors. These migratory moths and butterflies can travel long distances. Moths and butterflies are thought to have co-evolved with each other. Their evolution is based upon the evolution of flowering plants. Butterflies and moths share some of the same predators. Birds, lizards, and amphibians are some of the top predators for moths and butterflies. Moths and butterflies have many similarities. They both go through a metamorphic life cycle. Most moths and butterflies have the same diet. They drink nectar from flowering plants. We typically don't see moths eating nectar from flowers because they do so at night. Due to their diet, moths and butterflies are both pollinators. Although they share the same diet, some moths don't eat at all. Many moth species, such as the atlas and luna moths, don't have mouths. This causes them to have a very short lifespan compared to other species. Moths and butterflies both have scales that cover their wings and body. Some moth and butterfly species also share migratory behaviors. These migratory moths and butterflies can travel long distances. Moths and butterflies are thought to have co-evolved with each other. Their evolution is based upon the evolution of flowering plants. Butterflies and moths share some of the same predators. Birds, lizards, and amphibians are some of the top predators for moths and butterflies. Adult moths and butterflies mate, and females lay eggs. The number of eggs a moth or butterfly lays can depend on the species or other environmental factors. They can lay anywhere between 100 to 400 eggs. They lay many eggs to increase the chances of more caterpillars hatching. It usually takes up to one week for moth and butterfly eggs to hatch, but this can differ depending on the species and time of year. Most moths and butterflies lay their eggs at a time when caterpillars will emerge with plenty of food sources. This allows caterpillars to have enough food to eat, so they can develop properly and prepare for the pupal stage. 